So the normal place, I have to kind of shift with different things. It's for the moment should be not fair and it's not possible. As the others say, it's not possible for the moment to change the direction for the phone. I don't know. Yes. Uh, okay, maybe it's the process. So because last week I had a specification in the end. We passed over the border again, we're in our third country of the day, we're in Germany now. So that's the next tick in the box. Some of you might have seen some of the, uh, the vineyards starting to crop up with the vines um, as we've been driving along, coming into the wine regions and coming towards Trier. So as I say, we'll be uh, going a little bit further, just uh, 10 minutes or so outside of Trier, the Schweiz. Too far at all. 
so we should be there in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Now once we do get there and we disembark the bus, there's a, a short walk to get to the, uh, the boat itself, it's about 100 metres. But uh, don't worry, uh, as I've mentioned before, your luggage from below will be carried by the crew and taken to your staterooms. Trier is the place that we'll be uh, visiting tomorrow for your included tour. I don't want to say too much about it because I'll uh, give you a quick rundown at the, the top later on this evening, but it is one of the oldest towns in Germany. Dating back a couple of thousand years. The uh, most famous point of it is the Ponte Negra, the Black Gate, which is a massive black stone structure, big archways. And it's, uh, it's been held with no mortar, it's just the shape of the uh, the building itself that, that holds it all together. It's quite an imposing area, you will see that tomorrow if you join us in Trier. There's some beautiful architecture all dotted around there. Beautiful cathedral and a little palace area as well. So as I say later on uh, this evening, we've got uh, once we get to the ship. I know it's been a long day. We just ask you to power through that a little bit longer to join us for the uh, the welcome on board cocktail for that relaxing drink to meet the, the crew, the team, the captain and the hotel manager, and then get that rundown for myself. It's very important you come along just because it gives you that information. It's been a lot to take in today, but it just gives you that um, information all about the ship, where to find things what's going on, what's happening, um, what you need to do for if you need any help with anything at all. So there's a, a bit of information and once we've done that and got that out of the way, then uh, you really will be set to get on and enjoy yourselves. So it's worth taking that little while to come up. As I know it's a, it's a hard ask to come up and have a drink with us and sit back and relax, but uh, <laughs> I know it's been a long day. And I'm sure you want to hear more of my lovely voice. <laughs> we love your voice. Oh, someone just says they love my voice. Thank you very much. I tell you, after 17 years away from Glasgow, none of you would have had a clue what I've been saying if I had my original accent. <laughs> I go home now and I struggle to understand what people are saying. But I do know it takes a, it is still a, a, an accent to get used to. So don't don't be afraid to uh, ask me to repeat myself if, if you need. I won't be offended. Don't worry. I always used to say to people, new people that I meet, it usually takes a couple of days for the the ear to attune to my Scottish uh, my Scottish drones. Speaking of Scottish drones, I was out. Where was I? I was somewhere a couple of days ago. And um, I could swear I could hear somebody playing the bagpipes. <laughs> and it turns out it was just a squeaky door. <laughs> I felt so embarrassed.
in the next uh, minutes or so, we should be able to get our first glimpses of the Moselle. To this factory. Here we are. This is the first and views the of the Moselle. Mm -hmm. We're going to be sailing down this tranquil lady for the next uh, few days up to the Rhine before we join the Rhine as we go past Koblenz and then a short journey down the Rhine to join the main. So we're not very far away at all now. I think we even might even had a little glimpse of the uh, the Edie just along there. Now it's not a very built up area where we're going around here, so like I say it's a, a small path along like a small bicycle route where to the, where the, the, the ship is docked. So it's about hundred metres just along the banks. And then up the gangway to enjoy your time on board. So again, just please do make sure that you gather up all your belongings from on board. Just check you've got everything, your mobile phones, your quiet box devices. The two of you that won your Paris pens, make sure you've got them. <laughs> you've got it, right? Just make sure you check down the little pockets and on top of the, uh, uh, the, the luggage coming with us. Now remember you do need your uh, passport to show at the uh, guest services desk when you're checking in and then they'll give you your uh, stateroom keys and uh, you'll be ready to, to head on down directly to your staterooms to get settled. And once again, so at uh, half past six will be the welcome cocktail with the uh, with the captain. That's in just over an hour and then half past seven this evening for our first meal. And uh, the executive